After adding a track to our racing game, we need to create a new waypoint system based on the track. First of all, we need to remove all waypoints we created before, and then we add a new cube in the waypoints game object. This cube will be the waypoint, and to make it easy to customize waypoints, switch to top view. We need to keep cube mesh renderer enabled for now as we don't need the box collider, so just remove it. Then we duplicate each point and adjust it to follow the track mesh. Keep in mind, each waypoint will have a different height. So, drag and position the second waypoint and duplicate again to create the third waypoint. It will be so until we create all waypoints along the track. After adding all waypoints, we need to create a waypoint manager script to rename waypoints by order easily. First of all, we remove the start and update methods since we don't need them. Keep in mind that removing unused methods also improve your game performance. We have execute and edit mode. At the top, to allow the script to run the code even when we are not in play mode. It's useful when we want to adjust things in the Unity editor without running the game. Now let's move on to defining the class and creating the awake method. Then let's find out how many waypoints we have under the parent object by using transform child count. This stores the number of child objects, which in our case represents the waypoints. We will need this number to loop through each one later. Now, we want to check if there are any waypoints at all. If there are none, we can log a message and exit the script early. This simple check prevents unnecessary processing if there are no waypoints. It's always good to handle cases where things might not go as expected. Next, we loop through all the waypoints. For each waypoint, we will rename it using a for loop. Transform get chilled gets each chilled object based on its index. We store this in a variable, which is the current waypoint we are working with. Now let's rename each waypoint. We are going to append the index number to the name waypoint. Then we convert the total number of waypoints into a string to figure out how many digits we need for proper formatting. For example, if we have 10 waypoints, the length will be 2 digits, because 10 has 2 characters. If there are only 5 waypoints, the length is just 1 digit. This 
help us decide how much zero padding we need for the names later on. Head back to Unity and if we assign the Waypoint Manager script to the Waypoints game object, all waypoints will be renamed by order. This way, if we add the waypoint circuit component, we can assign all waypoints correctly. Now we need to assign the waypoints to the waypoint progress tracker. Select AI car, drag and drop the waypoints. If we hit play, the AI car will follow the waypoints correctly. Next, in case if you can't assign the waypoints and you get error, that's mean you need to downgrade to another Unity version. I downgrade it to this version and it works correctly. Also, if you get error retrieving array element that was out of bounds, well, you need just to make some edit in the waypoint circuit script. Open the script, scroll down to this line and change it from minus 1 to 0. And then scroll up and remove plus 1 from those lines. Save the script and go back to Unity. Next, I will remove all namespaces for those scripts then change their folder. Finally, we need to fix this warning message by simply clicking this warning and in the script just remove force module active. That's it. Stay tuned for next part of this racing game tutorial. Thank you for watching.